Hello, fellow traders, Nutty Bar Trading coming to you on a Saturday. And I've got a couple of videos I'm going to try and get out today. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking about the payout video. I'm going to try and get that out today or tomorrow. Um, but in this video, we're going to talk about self-discipline and what I'm using to help me with that. Um, it's called Guardian Angel Trader. And I'll make sure to put a link in the description below. Um, but if you've ever struggled with self-discipline, let me just ask if any, has any of this ever happened to you as a day trader? Have you ever had a day where you've been in profit? You've had a nice profit and you've thought to yourself, I'll just take one more trade. Just, just one more. And then... It's a loss. Then you think, okay, one more trade. I'm just going to get back to the profit where I was at, and then I'll stop. And then we, we all know how it goes. And 30 minutes later, you're either blown the account or something else has happened. That's even, you know, you're in the red even more. But the self-discipline, the ability to walk away and not going on tilt, that has been my biggest, biggest struggle. Um, I'll have days or, or weeks where I'm being very good with my self-discipline. I'm accepting losses, I'm being a good loser, and I'm doing the right things. And then I'll just, for some reason, something will trigger me. Um, and I'll have one day where I will just Go on tilt, and I'll blow up. Um, if you're new to the channel, I mean, this is well documented. If you're new to the channel, I basically, this is my journal and my journey to trading success. It's been a rough road. I'm basically showing everything. Being fully transparent with my trading is very important to me. And it's just, I have struggled with self-discipline, knowing when to walk away. And also when I have profit, not giving it back, you name it, I've done it. And I know I'm not alone. I know there's other people that struggle with the same thing. That's why I'm making this video just to show what I discovered. Actually, I shouldn't say that I discovered it. Someone in my chat, I think by the name of Raw, uh, you know who you are. Um, they actually, um, I was asking for a software like this. And he pointed this out, tested it, and it works exactly how I want it to. I was actually trading or actually was using previous um, software where you can also do similar things, basically control your risk. And the problem was it was too easy. The workarounds were too easy. Like you could just turn it off and... Same with Rhythmic. Like I know in Rhythmic, you can go into Rhythmic and you can set your data loss limits and you can do all of that for all of your accounts if it's on Rhythmic. But the problem is it's you can't lock those settings. If, if you're going on tilt, we all know, or at least for me, when I'm going on tilt, the rational mind does not work anymore. My common sense is gone. So... It's too easy just to go into Rhythmic and change your settings or eliminate your settings for your risk. It's too easy. I need something bulletproof. I need something bombproof where I don't care how much, how bad I want to keep trading. I physically cannot do it. Impossible. That's what I was looking for. And that's what this does. And I've been very impressed with it. And it has already helped me. And that's why I want to share it. I just want to share it with my audience. And if it helps someone else, I think if people would use this, I th honestly think there would be a lot less blown accounts. Um, and that's kind of my goal of this video. Also want to make it clear, I am not affiliated with this company. They're not paying me um, to promote this any way, shape, or form. I did reach out to them just to see if I can't get a discount for my viewers or something. Um, and yeah, they basically said, nope, we don't do discounts. We don't do affiliates. And that's just the way it is. 
and that's totally fine. Uh, but I just, yeah, I wanted to do the video to share this because I think it really will help a lot of people. So this is the website. Obviously, I'll put a link in it. Um, I'm just going to scroll all the way at the top. Uh, Guardian Angel Trader. Obviously, they have some other things they sell as well. I'm not promoting any of that. I'm only promoting the Guardian Angel Trader. Um, it is $349. So that's a one-time lifetime fee. So to me, it's been well worth it. Um, okay, so before I dive into it, I do want to mention as well, the installation of this is, is a little cumbersome. Make sure once you buy it, you'll get a list of instructions. Make sure you follow those instructions. So you have to reach out to him and you have to send him a couple different files uh, that you have to send to a person. You can send it to him through Telegram or email. You have to send it to him and then he will send you the download and how to install everything. So make sure you follow those rules because if you don't, you're going to have issues and it's not going to work properly. All right. So um, for this, I'm using my Take Profit account. That's a whole separate discussion. I could do a separate video on this whole this Take Profit. I've been really struggling to get this Take Profit account passed but that's another video another day um also just bear with me i do want to quickly mention take profit as you can see above me they are offering no activation fees for the month of october so if you buy a new if you buy an account you can use 40 use the code nutty bar 40 percent off they have no activation fees once you pass which is a savings of about 150 dollars. so just wanted to mention that um, if you use want to do that, use the code Nutty Bar. That would be awesome. I would really appreciate it. Same with Apex. They are offering a 71% sale right now. Don't ask me why it's 71%, but it is also 50% off resets. Use the code Nutty80. That would be awesome. And I just want to say as well, thank you everyone for using my codes, supporting the channel. It really does help, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you. All right, now let's go. Okay, so if you go to, once you've installed everything correctly, you go to new all the way down at the bottom, you'll see a D T P G A T. You click on that, and when you click on that, this will come up. So the first thing you have to do is select the account. Okay, so we just go down. I'm going to select my take profit account, and there's going to be this that will pop up. Actually, let's make this bigger. I want to make it bigger so we can actually see what we're looking at. Okay, so this is what will, this is the pop-up window that you will see. Um, okay, so now the allowed instruments is the first setting that you have. So basically, th this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to try not to rush through this. I'm going to try and explain everything but i'm also going to try not to take a 30 minute video but so basically if you struggle let's say for example when you trade oil you always lose money let's say you just cannot trade oil and you're constantly losing money with oil and yet you keep trading oil so you want to eliminate the ability to trade oil so you just Put in the symbols that you're allowed to trade. So if you only want to trade ES, you put in ES. Now the key is you need to put in the exact same way that Ninja Trader is on your symbol. So for mine, it is ES space and then 12-23. That is currently the symbol that I'm using to trade. Now, if you want to add multiple symbols, you add a comma, no spaces, and then you add another symbol, which let's just say NQ space 12-23. That is how you do it. Make sure you check box enable, enable allowed instruments. Now for me, I'm not, I don't use this, so I'm not going to check or have anything in that, but that is how you do that. 
So the next tab is the allowed trading times. This is the most important tab of everything here. This is the most important because this is what allows you to tell, basically it says when you're allowed to trade and it also locks your settings. So let me explain. So if you, whatever window that you put in here that you're allowed to trade, let's say that you struggle when you trade after hours or pre-market. Or maybe you struggle when you trade after 11 o'clock. Let's say you only want to trade from 9.30 to 11 o'clock. Like that's the only time of the day that you ever want to trade. And maybe you've run your statistics and you can see that if I would only trade this window of time, I would be very profitable. Okay, so set it up here where you can only trade that specific a lot of time. Um, and then what basically will happen is it will, these buttons here, see how if I hover over the buy market and the sell market buttons, they come up as blue. Um, let's just as a test, I'm going to enable and we're going to, right now it's 9.58. So I'm going to put in 10 o'clock or 10.05. So this is 10.05. I'll explain this in a little bit more detail later. But from 10 o'clock to 3, I hate. I hate how this time clock works, and I'll try and explain a little bit better. And then you have to check box all of these days that you want this active for. Now, usually I wouldn't check box Saturday because Saturday trading days aren't open, but I'm going to this time just to show this. So see how now it's highlighted in blue? Like I could press these buttons and sell market, whatever, if the market was open right now. Once I hit enable allowed trading times, see how, and I do lock settings, hang on. Do I have that right? 10 to 3. I might be doing something wrong here. I think, oh yeah, I have to close the... All right, let's just close it and go new. Now I understand why it didn't work. Okay, hang on. I didn't have an account selected to trade let me sorry i'm now zoomed in hang on hang on hang on okay let me select the account from the drop down first and then we'll go to new dtpa gat and we will select the account and let's Zoom in again so you can all see. All right. Sorry about that. Now, now you can see these buttons. I can no longer click on them. Now what happened? <laughs> Here we go. So because I have allowed, so if I uncheck this, see how the buttons are now available to, hit, to press again. And as soon as I checkbox it again, they gray out. I can no longer trade. Okay, doesn't matter if you have hot buttons or whatever, won't, won't allow it. So enable, this is why this is so important. Um, okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, the way that you have to enter the times is a little bit weird. I'll be honest. I struggle with this, but basically the 10 is the hour time, the first two digits is the hour time and it's military hours. So you have to go 24 hour time periods. And then the first digit is the minute. So right now, the way I have it right now would be 10.05. If I put a zero, then it's 10.50. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, I'm just going to explain how I set it up and then how you have to do it. 
So for me, I didn't really, I don't really mind what time of day I trade. I just want to not be able to manipulate my settings until the close of day. So I live in the eastern part of the state, uh, United States, so I'm eastern time zone. So between 6 o'clock or 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock in the evening is when the market is closed. So the market is closed between 5 and 6, that one hour time frame. That's when I want to be able to change settings if I need to. Uh, because that's the end of the day and then that following day is when you know I can trade again. So I wanted to make it so I can trade kind of any time of day I want. Um, but I just cannot change any of the settings that I put in here. Um, so the way to do that is I discovered that you cannot just put in 1700 hours to 1800 hours. For some reason that doesn't work because of the 24 hour time frame. So you have to, the way I discovered is I entered the one basically doing zero just a one. So that would be one minute after midnight is what this would represent right now. And then for this, I put in 1,700 hours. That is six o'clock or five o'clock. Okay. So that's five o'clock. Then I just checkboxed every, I checkboxed everything except for Saturday because obviously the market isn't open on a Saturday and there's no need to check it. Then for the second, this is where another option, you can set another additional times frame for trading in this second. That's what this is for. So here I put 18. Oh, I hate this clock. There's one thing they need to change. It's that. So put in two, then you have to delete the zero and then put in the three and then forward space and then put in the one or no, we want to do 59 five and then delete forward again and then do the nine. So 2359. So this is what I discovered that you have to do and then make sure all the days of the week are checked. Again, I guess if you only want to trade certain days of the week, then this is also where you do that. Um, but right now at midnight, I would technically have like a two minute window where I technically can't trade. Um, but basically that's the only way that I found that you can do it where you can trade basically any time of day that the market is open, but you can't change your settings. Obviously the key here is make sure this is enabled, make sure the lock settings is what is used. So that is very, very important. But make sure all your settings are the what you want. Double check. Make sure everything is correct before you check this. Because once you check it, there ain't no going back. You cannot change those settings until that time frame that you've specified here that you're not allowed to trade will actually, that time frame, then you can go in and change these settings again. All right, I'm rambling. We're already at 18 minutes long in this video. I just, just hang with me. Um, I, I, I don't know what else to do. <laughs> it's taking longer than I thought. Okay, now going to the daily loss limit. These are pretty self-explanatory. These are pretty simple. So basically account currency, put in whatever. This is, you have to do this for every single account that you have, okay? So what I did is I created a little spreadsheet or a cheat sheet where I put in all of my parameters and any custom message for each parameter so I could copy and paste, you know, so it wouldn't take me as long because on my Apex accounts, I have 20 accounts. Well, technically right now I have 12 accounts where I had to go through and do this. So it does kind of become monotonous, but it is well worth it. So for me, on this funded account, on, this is not a funded account, sorry. On this evaluation account, I want to give myself a little bit of leeway because I do take a little bit more risk when trading these evals. 
Um, so my daily loss limit is going to be 1200 So if I lose 1200 I'm done for the day. Make sure you check the en enable daily loss. And then on the custom message, this is anything. You can type anything you want here. You know, Nutty Bar, you have hit your daily loss limit and you need to stop trading for the day go take a break whatever you can write an encouraging letter to yourself you can whatever you can write here whatever you want but basically once you um have a $1,200 loss on the day this message that you type to yourself is going to pop up, which I found is actually really helpful. And you can kind of, you know, put things there that remind you of what your rules are or, you know, just encouragement or you can, you can say whatever you want. Um, okay. Then we go to daily profit target. Now for that, I'm going to put 2000 and just again, congrats. You have hit your daily profit target. Go touch some grass. <laughs> Make sure you check the enable daily profit target. All right, get the drift. It's very simple. All right, then we get to daily drawdown. I want to explain this a little bit. Um, so the daily drawdown, what this is for is for example on this account i have a thousand dollars or 12 i have two thousand dollars as my profit goal okay which means once i hit a two thousand dollars in profit i am done for the day that's it but this will do is let's say once i get to a thousand dollars in profit then i don't want to give back more than five hundred dollars in profit okay so it kind of protects you when you're in profit to not give all of it back. So the first number that you want to put in is the trigger quantity. What this means is this is when it's triggered. So for me, I'm going to put in a thousand dollars. So what that means, once we're at a thousand dollars in profit, then this is the losing quantity that I'm giving myself once I have that target reached. So I'm going to put in 500. So what that means, once I have $1,000 in profit and I give back $500 of that, I'm done for the day. I'm walking away. That's it. So again, make sure you enable daily drawdown. Now here you can do use unrealized p and I, I do, I was playing with this setting a little bit. Basically, what that does is it uses the unrealized profit and loss. So, but it does it on the profit side as well as the loss side. So, if you're in a trade and you are in a thousand dollar winning trade and you let that trade go all the way back down to $500, it's going to close your trade and you're done for the day. Okay, so just to realize that if you don't want that, don't check this. Use unrealized PL. Now, I do like that. Um, I have found I trade better when I just take my profits and I don't try to get a huge runner going because that's usually when those drawdowns happen. Now, that's just me. So use that however you want. Again, you can put a custom message here or whatever you want. I'm going to. Leave the messages for now just to try and save some time. Um, the trailing account, I don't really use this, but this is for end of day drawdown or real time drawdown. Um, some of these settings, I'm not really sure. I don't really use them, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time. But when you purchase the indicator, they go over specifically what each one is for and how it works. Make sure you just read those for the ones I'm going to kind of skip through. Um, I'm going to kind of hit the important ones and the ones that I use. I don't use a trailing account. Now, total trades. I do use this one. I sometimes have a tendency to over trade. So 
I'm going to put in 50 and just hit enable. Again, put in the custom message that you want. The way it calculates the trades is exactly how the executions come across on your ninja trader. So if you buy three contracts, okay, that's one trade. If you sell three contracts, that's two trades. If you buy three contracts, that's one. And then you sell two contracts. And then you sell a final contract, that's three trades. So that's how it's calculated. Um, then we have a position win. I don't use this, but this is basically you can add different positions. Like if you have certain symbols that you want to trade and only on those you want specific win loss calculations done or position size whatever that is that is where you put in the that's what the position win position loss and position size is for i don't use it um should be pretty self-explanatory losing trades i do use this no i don't sorry um, so here, uh, I use the losing, so the losing trades, winning trades, I don't, I don't use those, but basically you can make it. So if you have three losses in a row, you're done for the day. I kind of let my daily loss limit take care of that. So I don't use this, uh, same with the winning trades. Um, then we have losing timeout. I do use this. And I found it very helpful. So basically what we do here is I check the use trades, use currency, and consecutive trades. I want to have all of these checked. Obviously, I want to have it enabled. Now, just to keep, you have to put in information here first before you can enable uh, each one of these parameters. So after, basically what this means is I want me to be in a five-minute timeout after I lose three trades in a row. Okay, so after I have three losses in a row, I'm in a five-minute timeout, okay? Um, or you can do after, like let's say I have a big loss. So after, if I lose 500, you know, if I lose 500 on a trade, I'm also on a five-minute timeout, okay? Then you can check box this, if the next trade is a loser, wait 30 minutes, okay? So you have to put in the 30 minutes first, and then you can checkbox this. So basically, if you're just in a rough spot, it kind of gives you the ability to put yourself in timeout, collect your thoughts, make sure you're following your rules, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this here is amount of money to filter losing trades. Basically, what that means is, let's say you just try to get out at break even, but it gives you like a one tick loss. It just makes it so that that doesn't count towards your losing three consecutive trades in a row. For me, I have the filter set at $100. So anything below $100, it doesn't count as a loss. Again, put in the custom message, whatever you want. Um, winning timeout. Um, you can basically, it's the same thing as a losing timeout. I really don't, I don't use it. Maybe that's something for you to use. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, weekly loss. I don't use this one either. Um, or weekly profit. Obviously it works very similar to the daily loss and the daily profit. You just put in and it will keep track of how much you've lost for that week. Once you've hit your weekly loss, you're done for the week. Um, once and also the weekly profit. Okay. So that kind of goes through at least for what I use it for all of the settings here. Uh, now we're going to go and talk about the settings here. So in the settings here, you can do checkbox this hide, remove ninja, ninja script assembly, which is very key. Make sure this is checked that way. You cannot remove, you cannot just go into Ninja Trader and remove this Ninja Script assembly and then keep trading. Um, if you check this, this is hidden. Cannot do it. Lock SIM accounts. I don't use this. I don't know why, but basically 
the way that this would be used is it prevents people from manipulating the SIM accounts. Let's say that you're practicing on a SIM account and then you just reset it back to zero or back to whatever dollar amount you want. Basically, if you check this, it's not going to allow you to reset your SIM account balance. Um, lock order entry hotkeys. So if you do hotkeys, so basically if you have hotkeys that you use um, and you have violated one of your rules and you're done trading for the day and you hit, let's say you use your hotkeys to buy, it is going to let you buy and then it's immediately going to close the position. So you could lose money and stuff on trades technically, you know, basically through commissions, but it's basically going to allow you to put it in and it's going to immediately cancel and close the order. So you can lock entry hotkeys. I don't use that. You can lock stop orders. You can lock target orders. Basically what that does is it doesn't allow you to move your stop order or your target orders. So once you enter a target order or a stop order, you cannot move it. Now, I don't use that function because my strategy is not a set stop loss always. My stop loss is when I enter my ATM, my stop loss just goes to a place where I can then move it to where it needs to go. Um, and then we have block ninja trader folder. So I also check this. Basically, that means you cannot go into your documents folder and just try and delete uh, this GAT folder to try and trade, continue trading. You can't do it. Uh, then we have block rhythmic trader. Again, this way you cannot just open rhythmic trader and try and trade from rhythmic. It doesn't allow you to do it. So you can check that. I actually currently don't. I might actually start doing this. Um, the only problem is right now I use my rhythmic account kind of to track my p l and to show my balances on my stream. Um, I'm considering going back to just showing it like I have it right now, um, but we'll see. Okay, so the other thing you can do here, um, this would only be used if you don't use the lock settings here. From what I gathered, I haven't really found where this would be needed, but basically what you can do, you can put your email here, whatever email it is, and you can use password. Basically, what that means is if you break a rule, you won't be able to change any settings until you get sent an email with the password in it in order to change it. I don't use it. I mean, locking the settings is enough for me. Like, that's the only thing I need. That's that's good for me. Um, but you can play with it. Obviously, check. I haven't really played with this, so I don't fully understand it. So look at the instructions. So going back to allowed trading times, make sure you double check everything. Make sure everything's the way you want it. Then you can, you know, make sure, you know, Make sure your data loss, make sure everything is checkboxed. And then allow trading times. You lock the settings here. And once you do that, I'm going to actually checkbox Saturday. Um, it, it, actually, that would let me, I, I'm going to uncheck Saturday here because then it won't let me trade. I can show you what happens when you try to change a setting. Okay, so now I'm going to close this. So once you close it, now that's it. No more changing. So this is what's going to happen if you try to change it. If you go down, open the DTP GAT again, you're going to have this pop up. Select the account. And right now it's being because, okay, let's, I don't really have a way I would have to change my times. Let's just do it real quick. Zero to 10.
So now when I try to open it, this is the message that you will get. It just tells you, you have locked the settings for Saturday at this trading time of day. You can set the settings again after 1700 hours. So that's really what, that's what the message you'll get if you try and go in and change settings. You cannot do it. And uh, I've tried, I've tried kind of everything to see if you can't. And I had not discovered a way to do it. It's bomb proof, bulletproof. So that's what I really like. Also, when I show you, if you go to tools, see the remove nin. Okay, remove ninja script. I think you might have to uninstall or uh, close down and open it again. Let me make sure that I have that checked. And I can't change the settings. Anyway, I can assure you, you can't. I tried it. You cannot change it. You cannot remove it. Does not allow you. So that's how it works. We're already at 36 minutes. I just apologize. I know it's been a, it, it, I know it's a long video. Hopefully it helps someone. Um, if it does, that is great. Um, but I wanted to do this video and just show everyone how and how I use it and how it could be potentially helpful for you. So thank you for watching. Thanks for sticking it out with me. And uh, hopefully you have a great rest of your weekend. And take care and God bless.